Off White and Jordan Four Breads. So these are coming back out. So obviously we've seen that Jordan Fives come out, which sold out in record time. I didn't get them. L's everywhere. Big up me. But we've also seen rumors of the breads that we saw uh, displayed in the uh, in the Virgil Abloh retrospective exhibition that's going around. I think it's next place is going to Boston or something. I think it's in Atlanta at the moment. Um, that exhibition is probably is a very uh, great way for him to kind of encapsulate all his work that he's done. He's kind of tied it into this really cool narrative. But he's got this amazing sort of platform it looks like from the pictures where he kind of lays out all the prototypes and all the kind of um, ideations that went into creating some of the best work that he's done so far, which has been the Nike 10 collaboration that came out a few, a couple of years ago. Um, and part of that collaboration, you see some of the stuff that has been kind of like, you know, that wasn't, uh, that didn't uh, pass the final stages of approval. But I also think it was a clever tactic by Nike or by Off-White or by Virgin in general, because it makes me think of, do you remember when they did that massive show for Yeezy or they did that massive or they did that kind of like private sort of like dinner thing in a hotel somewhere where they were DJing from an iPhone and it was sort of like a weird uh, kind of focus group where they got all their cool friends around in the room and had them exchange ideas. You play a track, you play something and then they kind of contribute and put it all together so you can, so you can kind of contribute to Yeezys. I also think that may be part of it, right? This massive table of rejects was a way for them to kind of do some um, real life market research because when those pictures came out, first of all, when the first exhibition launched, I remember people zooming in and cropping out the images that they thought were sick of the shoes they thought would come out. So I remember it being the Jordan 1s in yellow. I remember it being the obviously the the 5s. I remember it being the Jordan 4 bread that we're going to see now and the, and the ones that are off-white and a few others, right? And then it's no coincidence that now all of a sudden you're hearing rumors that they're all going to come out. So I think it's a very clever... If, if it should be very clever if it was purposely done if it's accidentally done and you just reacted to what's happening into it fair enough but i also think it's very clever that he just did that so instead of because obviously a nike 10 collaboration was a very big risk for nike because they put a lot of shoes out they could have all like i remember virgil saying it right it was one of the biggest risks in his career because shoes are serious business right when you fuck those up your name is done right so he took that risk he decided to do a collaboration with nike in that on that big of a scale did it smashed it but they produced a lot of those shoes because a lot of the shoes were hanging, especially the, the more, less popular models like the 97. You could still got them um, in shops for retail if you were kind of looking around hard enough. So they probably didn't want to produce the same amount of level of in shoes again. They weren't sure about the interest. So a good way to do it, put some shoes out via a gallery or let Virgil put them out on the table. Let people take pictures of them freely because, you know, there's no nothing protecting them. There's no kind of, you can't take pictures in here. Or they, you know what I mean? There's none of that sort of stuff. People can do what they want with the pictures. And then through the kind of engagement online, you see the ones that work, put in production, and then bang, Bobby Jungle going as you're on. Now I'm a big, I'm a big fan of them because as you know, if you listen to this podcast long enough, I say my top three shoes of all time are no particular order are the Nike Air Max 90, the Air Force One, and the Jordan 4s, right? And if, if I say colorway, I'll say Air Max 90, I'll say Air Max 90 infrared. If I'm saying Air Force One, I'll say Air Force One or white. And if I'm saying Jordans, I'll say Jordan Bread, right? Jordan 4 Breads. They're my favorite shoe. I think it represents to me the pinnacle of what Tinker Hatfield was about during that era. The mix of like 90s and 80s and uh, kind of shoe design. The fact that it's a midfoot shoe, um, the exposed mesh on it makes it remind you of an Air Trainer 1. The Air Bubble, of course, very Air Max 90, Air Max 1 flavoring on it. And just in general, just a very um, solid shoe, very versatile, works amazingly with shorts in a sort of like, you know, camo shorts with a punk band t shirt on. Works well with some combats on, combat trousers with some, you know, with a nice fucking architect's jacket on works very well with a great button down suit uh with some flared pants like it just works with every kind of outfit and i'm just a big fan of it in general i think it's kind of it, and, and it represents again one of the greatest colorways ever seen right the bread colorway black white and red um or grays and red really perfect and they're gonna maybe release the one that we showed they showed in the exhibition um it's essentially a flip on the bread you've got this amazing sort of like a faded out mud guard or kind of toe box mud guard thing on the on the front which is kind of similar to me because it reminds me of my jordan 4s that i bought from the defining moments pack i think that was the first bit that sort of died out i'm not sure if it's because of scuffs or because of when i was going out but it also might be a nod to the fact that these shoes were also very popular within the skateboarding world i forgot where it was it might be philly or something but i remember there was a particular area maybe it might be new york where a lot of people were wearing jordan 4s as like a really cool as a really cool like shoe and again you can you can see why it makes sense right it is similar in shape and in profile to like a dc or like a d3 or like an osiris kind of shoe so that that's makes sense but that could be a nod to that so that kind of thing is like the idea that you know when you're flipping a skateboard ollieing it and you're
your kind of your foot is kind of scraping against the grip tape, it will sort of make that kind of fade out mark on it, especially with the black. I like the fact that the, the the mesh has been kind of flipped and highlighted and contrasted up and made into white. The wings as well are translucent, so is the back heel tab and the little um, outsole here in the middle. And just in general, just a really, really beautiful way to kind of do the shoe. Um, again, rumors are they're coming out. You've got the air bubble, of course, there on the side. Um, this is the original picture of them actually in the exhibition here. I think they're there. You can see them at the front, how beautiful they look. Again, with the kind of um, the raw cutting of the inner, inner sole and the tongue here. They look fucking beautiful. I think the, the, the pair here is maybe a is that an actual real pair or is that i think that is a real pair but the shape is so beautiful it's like a proper like it's got that really pointy kind of uh shape that i like in my jordans where it's not got the banana foot in it. i'm not sure if it is going to be the one but anyway this is from kicks on fire it says the jordan 4 bread um off-white is rumored to come out during the fall um it now seems that not one but two different off-white Jordan 4s are collabs are coming to release later this year. Aside from the off-white Jordan 4 um, SM women's sale that we I'm going to show you next that happened that he debuted at Paris Fashion Week, it's now being said that the off-white Jordan 4 bread sample will also be getting a release. release. The off-white Jordan 4 bread sample was unveiled when it was displayed at Virgil's Figures and Speech Exhibition in Chicago's Museums of Contemporary Art. The shoe dons a bread aesthetic along with added unique details such as the translucent wings, new textured toe, and an air on the midsole. Above you'll find a mock-up of the F4. Okay, that's a mock-up done by Soul Debrief. So this is obviously a mock-up done on an OG pair because that shape is just too good. I knew that wasn't that wasn't the one. Uh, let's continue here. Um, although there's confirmed, there's no. There, although there is confirmed info yet, there's no confirmed info yet. The Off-White Jordan 4 bread is expected to release sometime during the month of August. Uh, stay tuned for more images. So that is 